The great thing about Track 1099 is that it is very user friendly. To get started, you're going to need an invite from Cruise and you're going to need to set up your login through that invite. It's very important that you do because if you don't, there could be a disconnect and we won't be able to assign you to your file. Once accepted and you've created your login, we can then go behind you and assign you to your file on the W9 side. When you log in after we've assigned you, you'll see your company name and go ahead and click that, which will bring you to a screen like this. It's very simple to request forms. You just go over to request forms, W9. This will be for all of your US based contractors. And then a W8 Ben is gonna be for all of your international sole proprietors. And then for everybody else overseas internationally would be the W8 Ben E. So for this purpose, I'm just gonna show how to request a W9. You just need to put the name and the email address. If I was to go ahead and hit send request, which I will in a second, from this screen, it's going to take me back to the screen we were just at. If I fill all of these out all the way down and hit send request, it's going to bring me back to this screen. If you have quite a few that you want to go back and all you need to request them is the name and the email address, what you can do is download this W9 CSV template. The only two columns that need to be completed are the name and the email address. You can't alter the file at all though in terms of the columns, etc., because then it's it's their file and their system won't recognize it. But then you just save it, select the file and import it, and it'll actually bulk request those for you. It'll let you know if there were any issues and which ones were sent successfully. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit send request. And so when you request a W9 form, the status is going to sit at requested. If Test Inc. were then to come behind us and um, submit their W9 through that invite, it's going to show up here as signed and you can also download um, a PDF version. It's always best practice to give your contractors a heads up because unfortunately, as it stands right now, the Track 29 emails while secure can sometimes seem like phishing, so it's a good idea to give them a heads up. However, it is way more secure to complete their W9 through that link rather than attach a PDF file to an email for you. Get another one entered here, just so you can see the difference. Let's ask for John Smith. Track 1099 really values email addresses. You're going to want to make sure that you have a good email address. If I entered something incorrectly, it'll actually come back and the status will say bounced. Um, let's see if I can show you that. So while that tries to get sent, again, they'll set it requested. Once they complete it through that invite, it'll say signed. However, what if they do send you a PDF? That's no problem. You just come over to manually add form. And if it's a W9, W9, and so on, you don't need to worry about the W4, that's for payroll, W9. And all you're gonna do is copy it over exactly as it is on the form. And make sure it's exact. Um, make sure that the name, put it exactly as they have it on the form. It's very, very important that it matches their tax return. If not, you'll get a CP notice, which is okay. We can go back and correct it, but let's get it right the first time. And let's see, we'll say it's an individual. And again, this, um, this John Smith is just for this purpose. This person does not exist. Uh, I just wanna show everybody a good example. And then, again, not a real person. We just want this to be able to save. So I just took this off exactly what would be a W9 form. And I can show you that. I just made this myself. Um, and then it would have a signature and a date. W9s are good so long as the information on them has not changed. I'm gonna hit save. So now that we have John Smith manually added, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. Um, what I could do, say they didn't um, respond and I wanted to do a blanket request all for the, the other three, I could hit resend email request. 
I could click into John Smith and hit resend request. We don't need to do that though since he gave us a PDF form. So I'm going to hit the delete John Smith and get rid of that requested form. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add Test Inc. to show you what these checkboxes are. So again, this is just another W9 that I made up myself. We'll say that they're a C Corp. Let me just get their address in here. And also, I've said it before, but Track 1099 will not let you save a W9 without an email address. Um, not only do we e-file these to the IRS through Track 1099, but we also e-deliver them. You can mail it um, as a last resort through the system. It's a little bit more expensive and it's just easier and almost better to send it um, an e-deliver because we're able to see the day that it was sent, that it was received by them, and whether or not they've actually opened it. To open their 1099 once it's received, they'll have to enter the last four of their social or their EIN. Let me get an employer identification number in here. Again, not a real company. Just for this video's purpose. So I'm hit save. Okay, so these boxes actually play a part. Since it's an individual, John's obviously going to be getting a 1099. A C Corp Track 1099 recognizes that C Corps really oftentimes don't need a 1099 form. Um, in the rare occasion, for example, a law firm would still need one. If Test Inc. was a law firm, I can go ahead and select that box, and then Cruz will actually, when it comes to 1099 time, go ahead and sync them over to the 1099 side. Um, again, if it's manually or even if it was sitting at signed, I can pull a PDF right here if you wanted to pull one for your records. The only thing that it won't have, obviously, is the signature. And that pretty much does it. Um, again, Track 1099 is very user friendly. Um, if you needed to add an international form, it's the exact same thing. You just go to manually add form, WABIN, WABIN-E. You should have everything that you need on that form. Crews can advise on how to complete those. Your international contractors will need to work with their own accountants. Um, so once you get that form, it should be good to go for your purposes, and you should be able to just take it right off the form and put it into Track 1099. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. We're always happy to help.